let's see from this online program <coughs> the coaxial cable at this experiment is RG58A and uh, which has a characteristic impedance of 50 plus minus J0 ohm or also called Z0 the frequency of this experiment is uh, 7.1 megahertz or 40 meters band and the load resistance uh, or load impedance or antenna impedance is uh, 50 ohm and I use uh, for cabling in meters unit here for example at first 12 meters long coaxial cable <coughs> operated uh, with uh, uh, METS antenna antenna having 50 ohm impedance uh, match with uh, RG58A a characteristic impedance let's try to calculate you see here the Z0 or characteristic impedance which is constant is 50 minus J0.96 ohm and you see here at the uh, transmitter end of the coaxial cable the input impedance is very close to 50 ohm this is 49.34 minus J0.40 ohm and the uh, match loss is 0 0.45 dB this is for 12 meters long coaxial cable how about <coughs> For example, uh, we are having now 5 meters long coaxial cable. Calculate. You see here the transmitter end of the coaxial cable impedance is still very close to. Uh, 50.71 minus J1.56 ohm so still very close to 50 ohm and uh, match loss is less now only 0 0.19 dB means uh, <coughs> Uh, whatever your coaxial cable length is uh, the, um, if the antenna impedance is matched with the coaxial cable characteristic impedance um, at the other end of coaxial cable the uh, the impedance would be always uh, 50 ohm but uh, shorter the coaxial cable the loss is less so the conclusion is you don't have to, if your antenna is matched 
you don't have to cut your coaxial cable for example to multiplication or of uh, half wavelength or quarter of wavelength but uh, just use as short as possible uh, that you could uh, apply for your coaxial cable shorter better to reduce the loss here in several cases <coughs> coaxial cable could be used also as uh, impedance transformer uh, for example for uh, delta loop antenna or uh, loop antenna has um, around 100 ohm impedance at the fit point which is not which is not match with the uh, transmission line characteristic impedance so we could uh, utilize for example RG59 coaxial cable which is having around 75 ohm characteristic impedance to match or to transform the impedance of fit point to the RG58 characteristic impedance let's see how it works RG59 and uh, design frequency is still the same 7.1 megahertz or 40 meters band and the uh, fit point impedance is 100 ohm let's calculate you see here the Z0 or characteristic impedance of RG59 is uh, 75 minus J1.27 ohm there is a graph under set for impedance at the pull down menu you see here at the uh, zero meter long the impedance is 100 1.0 times 10 power 2 so 100 100 ohm and at a particular length this is uh, 7 meters 7 meters 7 meters from fit point the impedance at the other end is down to near uh, 50 ohm ohm let's try to um, cut the this transformer to 7 meters 7 meters calculate you see here 
at the far side from fit point the input impedance is very close to 50 ohm very close to 50 ohm this is 57.09 minus J1.65 ohms so at this uh, at, uh, uh, after um, you attach this uh, impedance transformer to the fit point made from RG59 coax with 7 meters long at the other end you will get uh, very close to 50 ohm impedance that you could then uh, connect this uh, far side and to the RG58 coaxial cable.